Hello everyone! This week we are going to talk about ore deposits, preparations for testing maps, and supporting traveling for all worship sizes. Hello and welcome to another Vulcanoid's Dev Diary. Core drawship features are ready and we can start making maps that combine all of them together. As always, we start with the drawship landing sites. This time, we also added support for all drawship sizes. In future, player will be able to upgrade a drawship and add more hull sections. Those will add new module slots and interior space. All this has to be supported right from the start, so when the feature is implemented, we don't have to redo all the maps. This is an example of drawship movement between landing sites and travel nodes. The blue lines represent landing sites and the red lines represent connections between travel nodes. The nodes have assigned materials and if drawship is not advanced enough, it can't travel there. Still, you could travel there on foot if you would want to. This video footage is sped up to show you how drawship travels through all the nodes. The travel feature is pretty much finalized, and now we can move on to next component for the maps. Gathering materials is an important part of every survival game. The same applies for Vulcanoids as well. The island will contain several types of objects that are scattered all over the place. The first type are technology components that are required for research of new drawship equipment. Then there are scrap materials that can be recycled to raw metal. The same applies for materials in form of boulders. Coal deposits are then required for running the power plant modules or charge the drawship for movement and production. To ensure a player can easily locate the resources, we added so-called resource indicators. Those represent a place where materials can spawn. Each material type will have its own indicator. Ore deposits have large boulders of similar color as the ore, while tech parts and scrap metals spawn in proximity of mechanical buildings. Based on the story, island used to be inhabited until volcano became active and all population was evacuated. This gives us opportunity to make island with small villages connected with roads, rather than a jungle with no signs of civilization. As the features are getting more and more complex, we are making specialized test maps that help us to test the basic systems in the game. This is an example of map for testing ore deposit spawn and production. The tester can easily and quickly test gathering of any resource or production of any item. In this example we are testing the progression. The island will be divided into three locations and player won't be able to cross the border until the drawship is advanced enough. This map helps us with future implementation of tech tree and ensures that player won't get stuck because of an item that can be produced because of wrong game design. That's all for this week's Dev Diary. Next time we will be making another iteration of the island map in an awesome software called World Creator. If you have any questions or ideas, let us know in the comments below. Also, feel free to sign up for alpha testing, the link is in the description. Thank you for watching and see you next time.